Hi and welcome to Swedish Plant Guys. Christmas is finally here so we thought we'd give you four simple tips on how to make your Christmas just a little bit easier. And those tips are concerning the poinsettia, the amaryllis pot flower, the amaryllis cut flower and of course your Christmas tree. Now, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do and hit the bell as well so you get a notification every time we put up something new. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps our channel a lot. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and like us on Facebook and Instagram where you can get sneak previews on upcoming videos and sometimes just a little bit more. So the first tip I want to show you is concerning one of my favorites, Christmas flowers and one of the most popular ones here in Sweden that is the poinsettia. We call it Julstjärna, the Latin name is Euphorbia pulcherimi uh, and this is perhaps the diva of all plants that you will take into your home. This is extremely hard to care for uh, but there are a few things we can say that will make it so much easier. And one of the things is that this diva here doesn't like to dry out, but it doesn't like to be too wet either. So how do we do that the easiest way? Well, a simple tip for you, if you have this in your home, is to use a pot, a outer pot, that is just a little bit bigger than your in inner pot here. Uh, because if we do that, we can help with the watering. Now what I have here is a bigger pot and inside here I've put some pomace in the bottom. You do not have to use pomace, you can use leica balls, you can use uh, gravel or some larger rocks or something. Just something that will make this inner pot come up a little bit from the bottom of the pot. Because when I put this here, it's actually raised from the bottom. So when I give this water, the water will go into the soil and all the access water will go down into that reservoir in the bottom. That means that it will never stand in water because that will kill your poinsettia. And as long as you just keep on adding water to it so it doesn't dry out and it doesn't stand in water, you have come more than halfway. So that is just an easy tip for you concerning the poinsettia. Now we have a video that tells you a lot more than this. So we put a link to that up here if you want to go and get even more information about this plant. So tip number two, and that is concerning the amaryllis. Uh, and this is my absolute favorite of all Christmas flowers. I ha have it all of, all of December and all of January in my house. Now you can buy this in two ways. You can buy it like this as a bulb plant. And uh, there is a big misconception about this plant. Uh, and we get this question a lot. And that is how do I keep the stem from getting to be very, very long? And usually when it gets that long, it snaps, it breaks, or the pot falls, it gets too heavy. So how do I get the stem to become shorter? And a big misconception about this is that it has to do with quality. It has nothing to do with quality. If you buy a high quality bulb plant, it means that it will give you more than one stem. This one will actually produce three stems. And also, a good quality will also, when it opens up, it will give you more flowers. Now a low quality perhaps only gives you two, two or three flowers on every bud here. But a high quality will give you four or more. So it doesn't have to do with that. So my tip for you is that when you get this to your house, make sure to place this in a very light spot. Place it on a windowsill, give it a lot of light and give it a little bit of water. Because if you place this in a dark spot and give it a lot of water, what will happen is that it will actually grow, grow, grow and try to reach for the light. But if you give it a lot of light and just a little bit of water, 
it will stay short, stubby, and you will get that big, lush crown without it tipping over. Now, if you want to know more about this bulb plant, we have a video you can go and watch where we tell you everything you need to know about this. So, tip number three is also concerning the Amaryllis, but it is the Amaryllis as a cut flower, like this. Now, in a cut flower, you really want it to be really, really big and long, like this. Uh, and when you buy this, normal people just buy it and put it in a vase. But we're not normal people, so we're going to take this instead and hang it upside down like this. And you can hang it in, in your windows and detach it to your curtain rods. And then it will look like this. I've just used, you can use any form of ribbon for this. You could even use a fishing line if you want to, but just attach that to your curtain rod and hang it in the window. Now the genius part here is that you can water this as well because the stem is hollow. So you can pour water in the hollow stem and just fill that up. Make sure that it has water all the time and this will go out and flower for a long period of time. So it works perfectly for you. And you have something really, really nice in your windows. Now, if you want to know more about the cut flower amaryllis, and you, if you want to see this step by step, how to do this, you can check our video out here because there we give you all the instructions you need. Now, tip number four is concerning the Christmas tree. Now, here in Sweden, we have a lot of different types of Christmas trees. My personal favorite is called Kungsgran, and it's the Abis Nordmaniana. Uh, which I always use at home. But no matter which type of tree you use, I have a great, great tip for you. Here in Sweden, we take our Christmas trees and put them in water. They, they are cut off, um, taken inside and put them in water so that the needles won't fall off as quickly. Now I have a great tip there for you. What you need to do is that when you get your tree home, no matter which type of tree you have, just before you take that inside and put it where you want it in your home, you make a fresh cut. By that I mean, now this is obviously plastic, so I'm not going to saw this one, but if you want to see me doing this, we have a video for you that you can go and check out step by step how to take care of a Christmas tree. But basically you just take a saw and you make a new cut at the bottom of the stem. Just take away half an inch, one centimeter approximately. When you've done that, you take your tree directly inside and you put it in water without harming it, without bumping that new fresh cut. Because what you want is to that cut to be fre as fresh as possible. You want all of those small water tubes that are going to transport the water up into the tree when the water is evaporating from the tree, you want them to be open. You want them to take as much water as you can. This will make sure that your tree won't lose the needles. They will stay on at least for as long as you want it to before you throw your Christmas tree out after Christmas. So these are the four tips for you in this video. Now, as I said, we have a video on each and every one of these plants or Christmas trees um, where we give you a ton of more information on how to take care of them to just make them thrive in your home. So go and check that out if you want to know more. Now, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do and hit the bell as well so you get a notification every time we put up something new. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps us a lot. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe on Instagram and Facebook where you can get sneak previews on upcoming videos and just sometimes a little bit more. Now, a big Merry Christmas to all of you and we'll see you in the next video. Until next time, hi door.